Amtrak will stop onboard ticket purchasing within the Northeast Corridor beginning Monday. That part of Amtrak's efforts to beef up security, all passengers will have to buy their tickets at station booths or automa automated terminals. Amtrak will continue to check the IDs of credit card users against the FBI's watch list. Since the terrorist attacks, by the way, Amtrak's nationwide ridership has risen 16%. Well, the attacks against the United States have sent the entertainment world into a tailspin. Television executives backing away from violent programming, and no one knows what will be considered funny in this environment. Add sensitive advertisers to the mix, and political correctness of a different sort may be here. Susan Lasovich has the report. I mean, because he said dead or alive. Because he said dead or alive. See, I don't agree with that. I only want him dead. I, I'm to the right of George Bush on this. In fact, George Bush is a <laughs> that, that, that I think George Bush should lose some sponsors. But over that. Beleaguered talk show host Bill Maher knows all too well the pain of losing sponsors. In the new cultural mindset known as post-attack America, it is no longer okay to be politically incorrect even on a show by the same name. FedEx, Sears, and General Motors quickly pulled out of the irreverent late-night program after the comedian made this comment. We have been the cowards, lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. Absolutely. That's cowardly. That, that is a Staying family. in the airplane yes. when it hits the building. That is Say what family. you want about it, not you know. cowardly. Longtime media buyer Bill Koningsberg says three of his clients, Geico Insurance, Boston Market, and International House of Pancakes, also bailed out of politically incorrect. He says it's all part of a new attitude on Madison Avenue dictated by politics and economics. The heightened sensitivity about uh, clients and advertisers being extremely careful as the environment that they're, that they're going to put their shows in has given the advertiser a lot more leverage in the marketplace in terms of how their dollars are allocated, where their dollars are allocated, and in many, many cases, even getting involved with uh, content discussions with the networks. And the stations that make up those networks are also more sensitive. More than a dozen ABC affiliates dropped politically incorrect in the last two weeks. That further hurts ABC's cash flow. They're not getting the revenue, and then if the, sh if the show stays on for a long period of time and the affiliates don't carry it and you have more affiliates that bail out of the show, they're going to lose that time slot. Even big media companies have demonstrated recently they don't have the stomach to carry losing properties in this deteriorating economy. Politically incorrect ratings have held up, but it's almost a moot point if ABC can't sell the program to advertisers. One plus for the show, cancellation now in a country that celebrates free speech might be almost as offensive as the talk show's remarks. Lou. Okay. Well, I'll let the market sort that one out. Thanks a lot, Susan.